Greetings, it's uh, Mike from That Wooden Flag, giving you a tutorial today on making some custom uh, family nameplates that can be hung around the house or outside of the house, wherever you choose to hang them. Uh, we're going to get started. So today we're doing the tutorial on Easel. Alright, Easel is a free program if you choose to use it that way. Uh, but you can also pay monthly to have a uh, you know, as many designs converted over to G-code as you like. So we're going to get started. I already have Easel open. Uh, started a new project, named it The Smiths. All right, so make that step one. Open a new file, create a name. Second step is going to be choosing your size of wood you're going to use. All right, um, I had already changed this to 9 and a quarter inches by 12 inches which if you're using a 1x10 pine you're already at the right uh, dimensions here and I chopped mine down to 12 inches alright so make sure your width and length are correct and the thickness alright so we're using 3 quarter inch pine 9 and a quarter by 12 inches alright so that is step 2 step 3 we're gonna grab our shapes here click on the square all right, you should have a square that pops up. You can move it around anywhere we want. All right, hello. All right, instead of stretching it out, trying to get it to the size you want, just come over here and click on shape. We're going to go one inch smaller than the size of the wood we pick. So we're going to do 11 inches by 8.25. And then we're going to drag that. Right around the center. So we've got a about a half inch border around. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> we can click on the preview here to take a look at it. Alright, see what it looks like. Because we want our piece to be done when it's done cutting, right? Alright, so we've got that done, right? Step three. Step four, we're going to grab our fonts, pick the font you like. I like this uh, Sinzel, Sinzel, however it's pronounced. And uh, I'm going to type the word the. All right, so I'm going to click the. I'm going to make that at an angle. Make it a little bigger. And we're going to drag it up to the corner of our carving. And click font again. We're going to type Smith's. That's the family's name, right? So we're going to resize Smith's. Make that pretty big here. Put that right in the middle. Now, if you notice when you're uh, on the artwork, it gives you that center of the object piece. So we're going to make sure that's right around six inches. All right. That's uh, step uh, I don't know, four or five. We'll go with font again. And we're going to use the letter S. So we'll take just the letter S. We're going to make that bigger. So let's stretch that S out. That, remember, right at six inches. So right in the middle. Right there. All right, so now we got to play with, uh, we're doing multi layer carving here, right? But we're only going to use one bit, right? So you don't have to do any bit changes, anything like that. But what we want is we want the word Smith's to pop, right? We don't want it to cut and look like this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the word the. And we're going to move that to zero inches. It should turn bright white. We're going to do the same thing with the word Smith's. Again, bright white. Now our main uh, piece here, the main carving we did in step one, we're going to carve that down to about a quarter inch. All right wherever you choose to carve it to. And then our S, 
right around an eighth of an inch. All right, so the S is going to be carved down deeper than the word the in Smith's, but not as deep as the main carving. All right, so now we've got, uh, just double checking here, S is centered, Smith's is centered, but this S still looks funky, right? See how this S is right in the front? So we're going to click on the S, and we're going to right-click it, tell it to send it to the back, and now it disappeared. So now what we've done is we told the S to go behind the word Smith's. And if the word the was in the way, it's behind the as well. Now we're going to click on our main carving. We're going to right click that. And now we're going to send that to the back. So now you can see that the S is behind Smith's, but it's in front of the main quarter inch carving. So now let's take a look at the preview and see what we look what we look like here. All right, and that's with a an eighth bit. Now what I notice is this E is connected to this a little bit. So I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to move it down a little bit. We'll check our preview again. All right, you see the cut depths here. Now what I usually do is I pick what color I want my border, what color I'm going to want the and Smith's, and I'll just paint the entire board ahead of time. Uh, you can even lacquer it ahead of time if you want. Let it dry, fully dry, and then have you do the carving with the 1 8 bit, which uh, I'm going to use a 1 8 bit because I don't have anything like small and detailed. The 1 8 bit uh, carves pretty pretty quickly on these carvings. We're going to go to cut settings. Uh, recommended feed rates 40 based off easel. You can speed it up if you want. Just keep in mind the faster you go you're going to get some lines here that need to be sanded down. Um, for the most part sanding this isn't really a big deal so if you want the project to cut faster that's your own discretion. Uh, 0.05 depth per pass. Uh, you could leave it there on the recommended, but uh, if you went down a little bit smaller, you probably have some cleaner lines as well. But we're going to do the custom feed rate at 50 inches per minute uh, with a plunge rate of 12, depth per pass 0.05. And we're going to simulate, it's probably going to be around two and a half hours cut time. Again, you can play with those settings all you want. But uh, this is definitely a very easy way to, to design this, and your customers will absolutely love this, especially after this is all painted. Obviously, you're going to paint the S probably a different color than the rest of the letters. Uh, stain it however you feel to do it. You could uh, you know, run a router roundover bit or something around the edge of the wood ahead of time. Uh, again, your own discretion on that, but this is a quick, uh, easy way to do uh, multi-layer carving in, into a piece of wood. And uh, you know, customers really love this stuff. If you wanted to add a date down here, you could do it the same way we did these. If you want to add some artwork, you could do the same thing. If you want to put a heart there, you can do that as well. But uh, that's... Uh, quick easy way to do that in the easel and then again when you're done you know machine advanced generate that G code we're gonna go ahead and generate it and then you'll export that and save it to wherever you save it and then you're good to go alright thanks for the uh, watching the tutorial I hope that it was helpful and uh, if you have any suggestions on another design tutorial, please uh, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.